Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Topic 2, Equations, Inequalities and Absolute Values, Lecture 2 of 4. Equations involving third. Example 1, solve each of the following equation. Part A, we have third, 2x minus 1, minus 5 equal to 0. Note here, if there is only one third, put it on one side. So here, we will put third on one side. Okay, so we have third 2x minus 1 equal to 5. So we bring 5 to the right hand side. Okay, next, we want to eliminate the third. So we will square both sides. Okay, so we will have uh, this square root can be cancelled out. Okay, so we have 2x minus 1 equal to 25. So 2x is equal to 26 and x is equal to 13. So that will be our answer. Next example, we have to solve set 3x plus 1 plus 1 equal to x. So there is only one set here. So we will put it on one side and move the one without set to the other side. So we will move plus 1 to the right hand side. Then we have square root of 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. Okay, next we will eliminate the third by squaring both sides. Okay, so we have 3x plus 1 is equal to so x square, x to the power of 2, and then minus sign. So 2 times x times negative 1, so we have negative 2x. And negative 1 square is equal to plus 1. Okay, so we will arrange our equation. And then we have, so x square. Okay, so 3x move to the right. So we have negative 2x and then minus 3x. We have negative 5x. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have this equation. So I want to arrange this quadratic to the left hand side x square minus 5x is equal to 0 then we will factorize this quadratic equation so they have the same x the factor x and x minus 5 so we have to answer here that is x equal to 0 or x equal to five we need to check whether these two answer will satisfy our equation so first, check your answer. It is not necessary for you to write uh, the checking part, but I will show it to you in this video. So you can skip this part later on. So when x is equal to 0 for the left hand side, so we have square root of 3 times 0 plus 1, and then plus 1 which is equal to uh, square root of 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 square root of 1 is 1 and plus 1 okay so for the right hand side we have the value of x which is 0 so we can see here that 2 left hand side is not equal to right hand side so left hand side is not equal to right hand side so we will reject this uh, answer we check for the second answer x equal to 5 so for the left hand side, so we have square root of 3 times 5 and then plus 1, plus 1. So we have square root of 16, plus 1. Okay, square root of 16 is equal to 4. Then we have 5 on the left hand side. So for the right hand side, so we have value of x only, which is 5. So here we can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So we can accept this uh, e uh, this answer and we will reject this answer. So the final answer should be x equal to 5 only. Part C, we have square root of x plus square root of x plus 2 equal to 2. So note here, if there are two thirds, move one to the other side. 
Okay, so here I want to move x, third x to the right hand side. It doesn't matter, you can choose third x or third x plus 2 to the right. Okay, as long as one third on one side for this question. So we will have third x plus 2 equal to 2 minus third x. So we will eliminate the third by squaring both sides. So it will leave us with x plus 2 equal to okay, 2 square. You need to expand this bracket. 2 square is 4 and then 2 times 2 times negative third x. So you have negative 4 third x and negative third x square. So negative third x square. So negative square is positive. Third x square is x only. So we have plus x here. So then I will simplify this equation. So I will move this part, the one we set to the right to make it positive. So I have 4 set x equal to. So 4 uh, minus 2, we have 2. And x minus x is equal to 0. So now I have 4 set x equal to 2. So next, I will uh, remove, I will move 4 to the right. So it will come divide. So set x equal to 2 divided by 4 is 1 over 2. Okay, now I, I still have set on this equation. So we repeat the process. I will square in both sides. Okay, I will have x is equal to. Okay, 1 over 2 square is 1 over 4. So that will be our answer. Okay, next example. Solve each of the following equations. So now we have three sets here. So if there are three sets, make sure one of them is on one side. For this three set, this one is already on one side. So we don't need to change anything. So what we need to do is we will square both sides. Okay, so I will square both sides. So expand the one on the left hand side. So set 3x plus 1 square. So we have 3x plus 1. Okay, does that make sense? So I'll show you the basic one. So when you have 3x plus 1 square. So the square and the set will cancel out. So you have only 3x plus 1. And then minus 2 times set 3x plus 1 times negative set 2x minus 1. So we have 2 times set 3x plus 1. And then times set 2x minus 1. And the last one is plus. Negative square is plus. And then set 2x minus 1 square. So you have 2x minus 1. Okay. So right hand side, we just you can cancel out the set and the square. We have x plus 2. We have x plus 2. Okay, next. We will simplify our equation. Okay, I will move uh, the one, the terms without set to the right. So I will move 3x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 to the right hand side. Okay. So on the left hand side, we have negative 2. Set. Okay, 3x plus 1 times 2x minus, point, minus 1. So why I simplify it like this? So back to the properties of Z. If we have Z A times Z B, it is equal to Z A B. Okay. So on the right hand side, so simplify x minus 3x minus 2x. So we have negative 4x and then 2 plus 1 3 3 minus 1 is 2 okay plus 2 okay now so here 
I want to eliminate 2 in front of the set So we bring it to the right It will become divide So on the left hand side we have So I will expand the 1 inside the set So we will have 6x square uh, minus 3x plus 2x is minus x And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 So equal to Negative 4x plus 2 divided by negative 2 Okay, so now I will simplify on the, on the right hand side first So set of 6x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to so negative 4x divided by negative 2 so I will have 2x and 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1 ok so now we still have set in this equation so what we need to do is we will squaring both sides so we square on the left and on the right so set and square root uh, set and square we can cancel out so it will, it will leave us with fix x minus x minus sorry 6x square minus x minus 1 equal to so 2x square is equal to 4x square and then 2 times 2x 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x and then negative 1 square is 1 Okay, next, I will rearrange our equations. 6x squared minus 4x squared is 2x squared. So, negative x plus 4x is 3x. And negative 1, negative, uh, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 equal to 0. Now, we have quadratic equation. So, what we need to do is we will factorize. So, by using your calculator... Here we have 2x minus 1 and x plus 2 equal to 0. So we have two answer here which is x equal to 1 over 2 or x equal to negative 2. But remember when we have two answer we need to check our answer. When we have so equation, always check your answer. Use your calculator. Okay, there is only one answer that satisfy our equation. That is x equal to uh, 1 over 2. Okay, that will be our answer.